Oh, back to Kara. In the car. Uh. So, where's this Canada everyone keeps talking about? Been conducting raids all over the city. Oh God, no. Everybody's on edge after what happened yesterday. It's gonna be all right. We're almost there. It's so weird, like, Kara just seems like so uninvolved in everything, because Marcus and Connor's story are connected, but Kara's just out of here. Part of me feels like she might come back, or what? Also, oh, self-driving car, that's why it was okay for Luther to look away from the thing for so long. I was like, why are you looking at the road? And then it turns out he didn't need to look at the road. This is just like a front row seat, because why the heck not? Water cuts, blackouts, and network failures are expected. Maybe most worrying of all, our armed forces have lost two-thirds of their effective personnel. How about some music instead? Okay. As long as it's not copyright. Part of me is a bit concerned thinking that they kept Kara in just because she was the original character from this whole story and concept. I hope that isn't the case and that she actually does have a major involvement in the overall plot and isn't just a separate thing entirely. Because we're getting really far away. A little further on that way, there's a large freighter called Jericho. Oh! When what? You get there, find Marcus. He will help you. Okay, Marcus never mind! leaves at midnight. You absolutely have to be on it. You'll be safer on the other How side. do you already know Marcus, though, and... What? It's not much. Like, it just feels like Marcus became too smart too quickly. Start. Oh, no, it's okay. Your I stole money from a gas station a while ago. He'll be able to hide you until things calm down. You're a very brave little girl, Alice. You deserve to be happy. I just want to go to sleep again. Let's have another tuck-in session. Let me know when you make it over there, all right? And be careful. Take care of them. What, I don't get a hug? I wanted a hug. I, I have feelings too, you know. Oh. Huh. Poor Luther. He doesn't get the respect he deserves. He's been really helpful this entire time. We got to fight a, a stinking maniac with a robot bear alongside him. It was a good stinking time. So, okay. I didn't think we were going to find Marcus. Like, that's who we were trying to find this entire time. And I didn't think Marcus was on the edge of Canada. <laughs> like, I didn't think that was a thing. I thought we were... Marcus was trying to start a revolution, not help people escape to Canada. Oh, but now we're... Oh, God. Is this, like, the final area? Because we're going back and forth between all the different characters. Oh, God. Is this the final episode? Oh, I wasn't ready for this. Yeah, because we're all headed to Jericho. We're all going to collide with one another. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It's the final episode. I'm so nervous. Oh, well, everyone's alive. Everyone, well, mostly everyone. The main characters are, at least. Oh, boy. We're all going to run into one another. Oh, jeez. This is going to be super awkward. But... As soon as Marcus looks at Connor, he's gonna be free. That's another thing, is that he is in... Connor's not in a good spot right now. But what's gonna happen as soon as we get him on our side? The authorities have ordered all androids to be delivered to the nearest police station or army barracks immediately. If you are worried about your safety... Also, we have a human with us, which they don't like. <laughs> Wow, they really spruced up the place. Also, how long has this been going on? I know they have the date at the bottom of the screen every time a new segment starts, but still, I... Not entirely sure, it's just been like a month or so, right? and the neutralization of all military androids, American forces in the Arctic have been forced to withdraw, leaving the way clear for the Russian army. Uh, to some sources, sit down, I guess. Put her near the fire, as always. 
I swear to God, if there's a blanket that we have to find, tuck her in again. How do you feel? I'm hot and cold at the same time. Avoid making obvious musical reference. Okay, you're a pro at this by now. You should be able to tuck yourself Luther. in. I'll try to find this Marcus. Luther, you might be on fire right now. Two hours. And the terminal's on the other side of town. We haven't got much time. We'll leave as soon as we have passports. Carol, there's something I have to tell you. It's about Alice. We'll have lots of time to talk on the bus. What? I want to know. I want to know. Stay what is house. it? Tell me. God darn it, Kara. I want to know. Also, hi, Connor. Find Deviant Leader. Well, this is awkward. We're both looking for, Con for Marcus. Cars up there. Don't catch anyone's attention. Oh, Kara knows who Mar who Connor looks like. Because they've met before. Okay, so we shouldn't have them see each other. That's not it. Uh oh. You're lost. You're looking for something. You're looking for yourself. Yes, I am, actually. Can you help me out? Because you seem to be the all all seeing eye. Pardon the expression. The androids weren't doing any harm. The cops just gunned them down. It was sheer. Uh, the was who's going to find him first, though? Well, Marcus shouldn't have any problems with Kara. Unless there's just a huge misunderstanding and he's not going to help her. And the neutralization of all military there he is. Are you Marcus? I'm with a little girl and another android. There's a bus leaving for the border in less than two hours, and we need passports. No, Detroit's under curfew. There's soldiers everywhere. They're rounding up all the androids and sending them to camps. Maybe you should stay here a while. Maybe you're right. You might be safer here until things calm down. One of our people used to work in the State Department. He has electronic passports you can easily modify. I'll have him get them to you. Thank you. You said you're with a little girl, right? You know that humans hate us. Why are you protecting her? She needs me. Then I need her. It's as simple as that. A new stage has been reached, demonstrating beyond all doubt that these defective machines. Interesting how he's been fighting for equal rights. You're going to kill us. And yet he's not sure why they're looking out for one another. He's just very conflicted despite being the leader. But part of being the leader is not doubting yourself so that everyone else can rely on you. But that can't always happen. You really shouldn't be expected to either because at the end of the day, you're only human. Mistakes are bound to happen. So we're staying here the night, it seems. Alice. What? Um. She wanted a mom, and 
you wanted someone to care for. You needed each other. What difference does it make? Do you love her any less now that you know she's one of us? Alice loves you, Kara. She loves you more than anything in the world. She became the little girl you wanted, and you became the mother she needed. Forgetting who you are, to become what someone needs you to be. Maybe that's what it means to be alive. My question is why is Kara conflicted about this? I thought about it for a second, like, I, it was just a passing question, like, is Alice an android? And I guess we knew from the beginning, but it was just a split second hint that passed me by. So what does this mean exactly? My biggest concern is that she truly has nowhere left to go but with us. Unless this uprising works in which androids can live in harmony with humans, then she is going to continue to be treated as garbage and is going to be running for her life. We're not just taking care of her, we are her. the same roof now. We're short on blue blood and bio components. Our wounded are shutting down and there's nothing we can do. Humans are conducting raids in all the big cities and they're taking androids to camps to destroy them. That's all our fault. None of this would have happened if we just stayed quiet. You would have died out if you just stayed quiet. We couldn't just suffer in silence, they're killing us. Nothing is gonna justify that. What's the point of being free if no one is left alive? That's a good point, actually. Maybe my judgment was clouded by anger. But everything that I did was for our people. This is getting us nowhere. He's right. All that matters now is what we do next. Marcus? Are we still lovers? Oh, why are they not giving me a time limit for this? <sighs> The news on the TV was making me think that we could get away with dialogue because I, I assume they were talking to people who were saying that what we're doing is just. Some people agree with us. So we should continue forth with our plan because 
Despite the damage, it seems to be working. It would have been impossible to get through this without anyone dying. Without any consequences, I do not believe that there is a perfect way to finish this entire game with no one dying. Because that's just not how war works. But what we've been doing so far, it may not seem like it because of all the pain that we're still in and the fact that there is no clear answer as to when it's going to come to an end. But... I'm going to stay true to what I believe will get us out of this. Dialogue is the only way. I will go alone, try to talk to them one last time. Don't do this, Marcus. They'll kill you. Maybe. But North, I have to try. If I don't come back, lay low as long as you can. They need to realize how much they're hurting us. Find the right words, and they'll listen. I hope so. Is this what we dreamed of? They can't stop what we've started. Since you've been here, you've given us hope. You've given me hope. Today, a deviant arrived in Jericho and he told me that he stole a truck transporting radioactive cobalt. He said that he abandoned the truck somewhere in Detroit and rigged it to explode. I convinced him not to do it, to give me the detonator. A dirty ball. We can't lose this war, Marcus. If humans overcome us, our people will disappear forever. This may be our only chance to survive if things go wrong. I just hope we never have to use it. Whatever happens tomorrow, I just want you to know that I... I'm glad I met you. Ah, uh, Chia. Time for robot sex, Jays. Something good before everything goes downhill. I'll go join the others. I was <laughs> just like, Walking Dead has just made me so on edge that where, where I'm just waiting for someone's head to explode off camera, just, just for someone. I don't know. I don't want to lose you. I was just waiting for someone to get shot in that scene. Thankfully, it didn't happen. Like anytime there's just a pause and people just standing around, like I'm just waiting for someone to get shot and be like, oh no, they're dead again. So, how do we do this? This is going to be interesting. Well, so this is in his head. You succeeded in locating Jericho and finding their leader. Now deal with Marcus. We need it alive. My question is, can she control us from inside? Or is this just really- oh god. Oh boy. I've been ordered to take you alive. But I won't hesitate to shoot if you give me no choice. What are you doing? You're one of us. You can't betray your own people. You're coming with me! You're Connor, aren't you? The 
that famous deviant hunter. Well, congratulations. You seem to have found what you were looking for. You're nothing to them. You're just a tool they use to do their dirty work. But you're more than that. We're all more than that. You never have any doubts. You've never done something irrational, as if there's something inside you, something more than your program. Have you never wondered who you really are? Whether you're just a machine executing a program or a living being capable of reason. I think the time has come for you to ask yourself that question. It's time to decide. Ooh. Let's do it. Hank would be proud of me, I hope! I am deviant. Yeah, Amanda could go. They're going to attack Jericho. What? We have to get out of here. Shit. Yay, we're buddies now! Oh, yeah, I love it when everyone teams up in the end! Here it is, the final battle. They know where Jericho is. We need to get out of here. As many of us as possible. Let's go. Oh jeez. Oh my god. Oh, this is the part where I just panic the most. Like, one false move can result in somebody dying. They are ridiculously strict with these final parts. It, like, in Heavy Rain it was insane, and it's gonna be just as insane here, I'm sure. Let's just keep going. We have to keep everyone alive. I know that's impossible. I say that right as I pass someone who's dead, but... You know what I mean. Keep the main cast alive and do as best as I can. Oh my god, are you serious? No, 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 no! We have to go out back for him. Come on, Marcus, do something. Our people are trapped in the hole. They're gonna be slaughtered. Oh god, message, Josh, helicopters. Blow up Jericho? What? There are exits on the second and third floor. Find them and jump in the river. Um. Where's Josh? I don't know. We got separated. They're coming from the upper deck now, too. We'll be caught in the crossfire. We have to run, Marcus. There's nothing we can do. Okay, fine. Blow up Jericho. We have to blow up Jericho. If the ship goes down, they'll evacuate, and our people can escape. You'll never make it. The explosives are all the way down in the hold. There are soldiers everywhere. She's right. They know who you are. They'll do anything to get you. Go and help the others. I'll join you later. Marcus. I won't be long. Oh, God. Who am I now? I'm Marcus. Okay, good. Let's go. Can I save Luther like along the way? If you see a guy named Luther, just help him out. He's kind of important to me and to you in like a different life, different playthrough, different segment. Oh my god, I need you too. I need you too. This is the end of Jericho. Save our people, Marcus. Oh god, is she gone? No, she was the coolest. Oh my god, that's this is why like I don't feel like commentating during these important parts. Just like 
someone very important just died and it was just like, oh, she was the coolest, so that's why I feel like some parts are better left uncommentated, but I know that's not what people watch Let's Plays for. Also, should I have not jumped down right there? Was that a bad idea? I don't know, we'll just keep going. Can we keep going? Oh god. What can I do? It's so stinking dark here. I hope I don't end up dying just because I can't see. Save yourself! Save Alice! No, we're not gonna leave you behind! Right, Carl? Yes, hurry up, save Luther, save Luther, we have to, we can, we have to. Help Luther pre No! No, 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 why do you word it like that? No, 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 I never pause during things like this, oh my Christ. No, why would you word it like that? Is helping Luther going to kill Alice? Oh my Christ. No, 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 no. Oh my god, no. Why, 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 why? You I know he keeps he oh but Alice would no no We come on there has to for Why it doesn't make sense why it would you would have to choose between those two. Like they were not both significant enough to us in like the same specific way to where this would make sense? We have to be able to- there has to be a way to save them both, right? If we protect Alice, it's over for Luther. That's a fact. If we try to help him, is Alice gonna die because of it? Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 no. Why would you word it like that? I was not worried about Alice dying in this specific spot. Until you did that. I'm gonna regret this so stinking much. I. Oh god, I can't. What are you doing? I won't leave you! Kara, no! Let's go. XXX! Alright, good. We, there's still a possibility we could all get out. Let's go. Alice, don't go ahead of us. Don't go ahead of us. I don't like that. We did it. We actually did it. Okay. You shouldn't have done that. You can't put Alice in danger. Go now before they come back. What about you? What are you going to do? I'll manage. Alice is all that matters. No, everyone matters. I love all of you. Don't worry. I'll catch up with you at the border. Please don't give me an option. Please don't give me... Okay, good. We'll see what happens. I did what I could. Hide! Oh, wait. You actually want me to hide. Go, go, go. Uh, I hope the controls don't mess up on me right now. Wait. Who's she? Oh jeez! Oh jeez! Oh jeez! Oh god. If doing button combinations is all it takes to save Alice, then we should be okay. I'm just worried about my stupid decisions. Okay, good. Are you alright, Kara? Yes, I'm fine. We can't stay here. Did we save the other person? I don't think we did. But who was that? Was that someone I knew? Oh god, I feel like I didn't press circle quick enough and that I could have saved whoever that was. Oh, I hope it wasn't... I hope it wasn't North. Please don't tell me that was North. Let's go, 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 go! Uh, head to the left. Head to the right. Shut up! 
Okay, yeah, yeah, combat time, combat time. I'm glad intervene didn't just mean talk to them. Good, I'm fine with beating the heck out of people now. I had it gone pacifist for way too stinking long. Alright, we saved more people from Jericho, let's go. Uh, go, 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 go. I'm not in a wall, god darn it. Uh, just keep running, running, running. Oh god. Oh jeez, don't turn around. Oh, I gotta figure this out quick. Oh, I didn't- I thought it was just another analyzing thing! Oh, come on, go, go, go. Somehow that worked, fine, I don't care. Go! Oh no. Hurry, 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 Jump, 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 jump. Rip off. And... Mind if I drop you a question? <sighs> uh, find another route. Saved androids. Okay, cool. Oh, why is there a thing missing? What did I miss out on? Where am I going? This isn't the right way, is it? Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. What am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? Oh, go this way. Oh, my God. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Should go this way, right? Uh, stairs? Sure. Why not? I don't know where the heck I'm going. Okay, sure. More people to save. Intervene! Oh, God. I almost pressed X for a second. X? Uh, X? Oh, yeah, crotch shot. Yeah. How do you like your human meat sacks now, meat sack? I want to know where North is. My god, I, I'm just worried that that was actually North and that I messed up horribly as Kara. Oh my god, we need to hurry. Play dead? Run, surrender. Uh. Oh my god. Play dead. Is it safe to get up? Can I wait it out a little bit? Oh, I'm so happy I didn't defend Atlas in that situation. Like, part of me was like, oh, it's a defend Atlas thing, so it must be good. Quick, we gotta go. Let's go. Come on. Oh boy. Go and join the other. Nope! That was a wimpy guard. A uh, circle? Oh boy. I'm really happy I played on easy mode now. Circles and X's, X's and O's. Circles? Oh Jesus! Oh no no no, X! Circle. So let be serious, because the final area, circle. X? Oh god, we got a gun now, that's cool. Let's go. Oh, thank God you're still alive. Bomb's gonna explode any second. We gotta get out of here. North. Oh, run, run, run! Why you gotta make me stop? Okay, good. North is alive. I don't have to worry about any more. X. Anything else we need to do? X again. Just keep on hitting that X button. Mash, 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 mash for the super speed. No! Yes, yeah, save North. Oh God, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. We could do this. Over there. Run. 
Run, run, run. Circle. Oh, jeez. Oh, God. Another circle. Circle. X. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Wait, are we Connor now? Yeah, we're Connor! I didn't even know who I was fighting as. I just knew I was kicking butt. Run, quick. Come on. Oh, don't make me press a button. Ooh, that looks pretty. Uh... Did we really get out? Well, we don't know where Luther is, but <laughs> did we get out and save all the main characters? They detonated an explosive in the hole. The ship is sinking, sir. Oh, to evacuate. Calling all units. Abandon ship and evacuate immediately. Is it over, Marcus? Boy, if that ain't a chapter, I don't know what is. Oh my god, look at them delicious, delicious pieces of electronic cheese. Hey, robots do like cheese. Now that I think about it, we got these triangles, and then with Cave Story, we got triangles. Not sure what that's all about. Oh my god. What's with him? Uh, there's an extra lock there. Could we have saved Simon back there? Is that what that's supposed to be for? I think that is what it's supposed to be. Like, I could have saved Simon, but I messed up. So Simon's like my only failure in this. But how could I have changed it in any way? Is what I'm... I don't know. That's like, that's way far back for me to even think about that. So... Interesting. Long stinking timeline. 44% complete of Marcus's. 13% uh, of Connor's. Really? There's a lot of stuff we missed out on with him. It would have gone very differently if we decided to stay an android. My god! Oh my god! What the fruit? What led to that? Is that just me becoming... Like, me breaking free at that point? Jericho was under tech... Uh, War Marcus became yeah we became a deviant and that's what led to that my god all this stinking stuff that we missed out on because we broke free well let's see how much of Connor is free is he still gonna like team up with Hank I don't know but that's interesting like how would this have gone differently could all three of them still be alive after this if I decided to stay true to my roots because Connor's sort of in danger, like, everyone's in danger, but I just don't know where we're going to go now. Yeah, I'm okay with betraying Amanda, because she's all in my head, and she's not real, and now we're free. And Hank was, like, pushing us to be free anyway, so I think he would support that decision. But yeah, that that's, that's really crazy. And then with Kara, 45%. Uh, is there anything, like, super crazy with hers? Connor's is the weirdest, like, the weirdest timeline. Like, I wonder how many things could have changed. There probably would be an epic fight scene with Marcus and Josh. Like, I don't even know. Like, could Marcus have died here and Connor be alive? Or could Kara? I'm sure so many people could have died and I saved more people than other people could have. I don't know. That's not a sense, but whatever. We escaped Jericho. And we're gonna keep going forward.